shares in Tesla came under pressure today after the company said it will be pushing its robo-taxi debut from August to September. Now, the shares had been on an 11-day winning streak. Um, the production and delivery numbers in the latest quarter surpassed expectations. We're joined by Hatem Diab, managing partner at Gerber Kawasaki, Wealth and Investment Management. Hatem, it's great to see you as ever. Likewise, Andrew, good to be on. One thing that has me scratching my head today, and I'm often confused, uh, is that I thought investors were wary of this Tesla robo-taxi initiative, so uh, they're not pleased to hear that it's being postponed? Uh, obviously, I think it fuels to the skepticism that robo-taxi are just not ready for prime time. Uh, obviously, as you said, there's been a nice momentum in, the, in, in Tesla stock, and this robo-taxi event was going to be, you know, another reason to get excited. Okay. But yeah, but getting delayed like this, I think it's it's, it's pro problematic for for investors. You note that um, Tesla its share of electric vehicle sales in America has been dropping. I guess it is a, a growing market, though. Yeah, I think the EV sales in general have been uh, decelerating, but Tesla's share of the EV market, which was over 50%, has just dropped to below 50% uh, last quarter. And I think just simply because there's a lot more cars. I think there's over 100 EVs on the market. Uh, there's a lot of other companies coming up with some really, really good models. And I think one of Tesla's biggest problem is the, the model lineup is pretty stale, like they need to have a little bit more options and models, and I think that's what uh, uh, consumers want. You do think, though, that Tesla's in desperate need of some refreshed models? Absolutely. I think it, 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 this is not an anecdotal. A lot of consumers want new models, new colors, new, new, new really kind of uh, more options, really. Uh, that's why other car, uh, car manufacturers make new options every two or three years. Uh, but Tesla hasn't done that. And you've seen, we've seen that issues with sales going down the last year or so as a result. What about Tesla stock? Is it a buy now? <laughs> I'm not sure. Very, very expensively right now. I think 90 times forward PE. Uh, if, 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 we, if we saw the trough in uh, sales, or at least if we've seen that uh, Tesla is trying to accelerate their sales again, that that might be very interesting. But for me, I think one of the issues that I'm, I'm, I'm worried about is they've been given 0% financing over the last six months or so to stimulate demand, and that may hurt their margins going forward. So I think that's something to be looking forward to or lo looking at in the, in the next quarter. And so I, I missed part of your reply there, Hatem. The video froze. Um, but so you you wouldn't necessarily be a buyer of Tesla right now. Yeah, I think you have to be careful right now, especially because they've been issuing zero percent financing to to stem demand, and that may hurt their their margins going forward. If you if you believe in the EV market over the long term, yeah, you want to own the stock, but you have to be careful in the short term. I think. And you're by you reckon it's trading at something like a ninety times PE ratio. Yeah, it's very expensive. It's a really, really expensive stock. It's priced for perfection, and Tesla is not really performing that well right now. And I think this volatility around, like one of the biggest problems with this delay of the robotaxi for me is really how do you manage the PR around it, right? They should, have, should, should, should be doing a much better job preparing investors when they have issues with, with, with releasing products, releasing events, and so forth. And Tesla just hasn't been doing that, that very well. The, some fans of Tesla say, well, it's at the center of an ego, ecosystem, not an ego system, but an ecosystem, <laughs> a Freudian slip there. Um, um, the, um, it's got its um, you know, home battery business and it's got its chargers business. Is that a big part of the value of uh, Tesla? Ecosystem is not that far. I, I I agree with you. I mean, they have their 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 energy business is actually uh, growing really nicely. They, I, th I think that's really one of the the more exciting parts, especially with AI. Uh, but the reality is, they are they are selling EVs, and that's the most important thing. Yeah, they're fully integrated. Yeah, they have a charging system. So there's a lot of things that they have that a lot of uh, not a lot of other companies do have, and that's a, a huge competitive advantage. Uh, but ultimately. 
if they can sell more cars and do it at, at, a, at a profitable way and an accelerating uh, revenue way, it's, it's going to be an issue to going, going forward.